what is up everyone? I am going to show you a very quick way that I have helped my daughter's skin. Um, when she was little, she was announced that she had eczema, which is very, very common for new babies. She's now two and a half, still fights it, especially when it gets cold. Um, here in Kansas, it's 30 degrees one day, 60 the other, so our skin doesn't really know what to do. Um, we got an amazing air purifier, which I will link below. Um, that has helped our skin drastically, but I wanted to just bring out some old, like, grandma remedies that everyone uses back in the day, and they still are amazing. Um, you're probably wondering on my thumbnail what this beautiful little thing is. Well, Lo and behold, when my little girl has an eczema flare up, I will run her a warm bath. Um, nothing too hot, nothing too cool. Even though you're supposed to have cooler um, water in the winter so it doesn't dry your skin out as bad. But what baby likes to sit in cold water, right? So this is what I throw in my baby's bath water. Just old fashioned quick oats. Nothing fancy. Um, you can buy kits at Walmart that are the oatmeal bath. Um, they've got some other stuff in them. They're great also. Um, but if you don't have any on hand, I just put this in my little um, food processor, blend it up a little bit all by itself, and then I just keep it in a container. Do two scoops in their whole bath, um, and then usually let them soak for about 10 to 15 minutes. I try not to wash their hair that night because when I do the scoops of water into their hair in a little cup it'll kind of get in their hair and it's it's not bad for their hair it's just then it's more work to have to clean it out um but i'll let them play with their toys soak in there as long as they can until they're just ready to get out um when we went to the dermatologist when they were little they both both my girls have had eczema um my oldest one has kind of outgrown it my youngest we thought had outgrown it until this winter the back of her leg I mean she would just itch it till it was like raw and bleeding some have it a lot worse we've been blessed that we only have had it kind of right here kind of where like your sweat when you bend where your like sweat can collect it seems like they get it more in those areas um, another good tip too if you're around the pool a lot they say the chlorine helps dry it out but it's not always good for the rest of the skin so anyways, after their bath of about 15, 20 minutes of them soaking in there, they'll get out ready for bedtime, whatever. But then my next holy grail, which we went to the dermatologist, they gave me a sample of this, and this worked best for my kids' hair. Um, everyone has their own that works the best, but this is fragrance-free, free of dyes, masking fragrance, lanolin, parabens, and formaldehyde. Doesn't have any of that stuff in it. So it's a real just basic lotion that works really, really well. Here is my holy grail. This is what I tell all new moms. Um, you can use this for eczema. You can use this for diaper rash, um, even some cradle cap if they have that. Um, I'm not a doctor, so I'm not going to get into stuff about that. But um, it's dermatologist tested. It's amazing. Also, ladies, this is really, really good to put on your um, crow's feet and just as a night moisturizer because it's free of all those fragrance things and it's really really good for anti-aging especially right in here you know where the sun hits us and we tend to age more but i'm gonna do a whole nother youtube on what i use on my face not that i have the best skin in the world but i'm hoping what i use now will help me in 30 40 50 years to make me look 33 again right okay that's all i have for you guys today if you like my videos, want more content, smash that subscribe button, hit that like button and the notification bell. Then you'll be able to get any of my updated um, YouTube shorts and videos. I'm going to be doing another one later this week on another dessert. Um, people tend to really like the recipes. So um, thanks for tuning in, guys. I'll see you guys later.